Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I want to show you some new features on Replicate's website. So as you know, we have this web playground where you can run models. And on the, in, on the left side of the screen, you'll see the input to the model. On the right side, you'll see an output. Um, one of the really cool things that we've just added is we now have code snippets that allow you to run the model with the exact same inputs that you see here on the screen. So. Here's an example of a model called Lava that can interpret images and answer questions about images. So um, on the left here, we have an image and we have a prompt. Are you allowed to swim here? And here on the right, we have an output. Let's say I want to actually run um, this code myself, not just in the web browser, but in an application I'm building. So now I can just click the Node.js tab. That's my um, programming language or runtime of choice. Um, the first time I come here, these things are toggled open and they show me how I install the client, how I set my environment variable, and how I import the client. And once I've done that, I can close these and they'll stay closed the next time I come to this tab. Um, the meaty bit here now is that I have the actual code snippet here that corresponds to the prediction that I was looking at there. So. I can actually take this code right here, copy it, um, and then I'm using a cool website called Valtown that lets me actually run node code right in my browser without having to set up a development environment. So I'm gonna run that and we'll come back to it. So let's walk through an example use case of how I might actually use this thing. So Let's say I'm on the playground for this model and I have an image on my own computer. Um, it's a photo of some ingredients that I have in my kitchen. And I wanna ask this model, um, what ingredients are in this photo? And please prepare a recipe for using these ingredients. So now I can run this right in the browser. It's easy for me to fill out the prompt, upload an image, etc. And here I'm getting some output. This photo features a cutting board with various ingredients, including eggs, beans, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, etc. So the recommendation in here is to prepare a stir fry. Sounds pretty good. So tells you how to heat it in a large skillet, etc. This is looking pretty good. So now let's say I want to actually take this concept and bring it into an app that I'm building instead of just replicates web interface. So now I can, um, there are a few ways I can do this. I could just go straight to the Node.js tab right here, or I could share this, grab the URL, send it to a friend, and now not only is the code snippet available to me, it's available to anyone that I share it with. So here is the code to run this model using the inputs that we just filled out on the website. So I can take that back over to this uh, page. By the way, let's see what we got from here. Yep. Yes, you are allowed to swim in this lake. Okay, so we're gonna replace this output here with what we got from, from this prediction here. Um, it looks like the output is being joined, is being is a big long array. So let's just say output.join. Maybe that'll give us a more attractive looking output. So then we can run this. And now we can see here's our output. In the photo, there are several ingredients, including beans, tomatoes, onions, peppers, and garlic. So now we actually have running code that we can use um, that this will allow us to start with the web, web browser, fill out a form, get a sense for how the model works, and then grab some code and take it into our development environment. Hope that's a useful tool for you. Thanks for watching.